hi much quick message let you know that i landed okay and i made it to the little studio in Catohorio. i also unpacked everything which feels so good um george and zilke showed me around the village and i met all their friends and everyone was so friendly and kind and welcoming so that's really good and i thought of you right away as soon as i got into the village because the flowers are still in bloom and it's just such a vibrant bright pink i was like ah, i have to send mom a photo but yeah i should probably head to bed because tomorrow is the first day of the olive harvest so i will for sure have a lot of work to do but i'm super excited and hopefully we can find some time to call tomorrow so that I can show you guys what everything looks like and tell you how it goes. Hi guys, it's Ariel. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today I am not filming from Paris. I'm filming from a small village on the island of Crete called Catohorio. And it's because I've moved here. Only temporarily though, you guys, don't worry. I do have Jean and my friends and my life and my business back in Paris. And I know you guys really do like the content that I make from Paris. So we'll be back to that regular programming by Christmas, but I will be here for a month during November to help with the olive harvest. And you guys might remember from my Greece vlog, but while I was in Greece in September with Jean, um, he and I booked a tour of a local olive farm. And that's where I met George and Zilke, who together cultivate, produce, and create all sorts of olive oil products, not just organic olive oil, but a whole bunch of other really special things like um, aromatized oils. And I was so inspired and interested by what they were doing on this farm and what they were creating and how they're protecting the ancient olive trees that I really felt like I had to come back and help them and I knew that I wanted to tell the story of this small village and this olive farm and so as soon as I got back to Paris I emailed George and I asked him if I can come and help him with the harvest and document the process and he agreed so I packed my bags and now I'm here so yeah, I hope you guys are excited to come on this journey with me. I have so many fun, exciting, special things to share with you guys. And I can promise you that everything I'm gonna show you is gonna be unlike anything you've seen before. Hi! <laughs> okay, are you ready to see the apartment in daylight? Ready. I'm so excited! Wow! What? Isn't it pretty? Yeah, so this is the view. And then there's even this huge balcony. Look how cool. These are the sheets that Suki brought me. This, and then the pillows. Um, the kitchen, you already saw yesterday, but he showed me how this thing works. It's so scary, John. It like smells like propane right away. Um, and then yeah, the bathroom. I tried the shower today. Anytime you like raise it higher than this, there's no pressure. So I think when I wash my hair, I'm gonna have to like sit here and like turn this on. And then that's Da, 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 all my makeup. I have my towels. I'm glad I brought a towel. Uh, the washing machine works. So I'm gonna do a load later. I have just like makeup on for now, but yeah. Yeah, honestly, it's it's really nice. I'll talk to you later. What? Bon appetit. Good morning, you guys. It is about 7 a.m. here in Catalonia. And I'm on my way to the town square to meet George. We're gonna head into the fields quite early this morning while it's still cool because it is so hot to harvest the olives midday. We had a really late start yesterday, so it was tough. But uh, yeah, it's a really nice day so far. You can see the mountains in the back there. <laughs> but I am gonna hurry up because I'm a little bit late. We're talking about the view. Good morning. <laughs> We just got to the fields and I thought it'd be funny to show you guys what I look like before we start harvesting olives because I'm wearing white. 
and I can promise you I will not look anything close to this color by the end of the day. Okay, time, time to get to work. So after a few hours of work, we ended up taking a break at around, I want to say 10.30 and we had a little snack, which you guys would have seen. And George told me to take a break and uh, check out the neighboring city, which we're in called Kavusi. Um, they're gonna finish up harvesting for the day and he told me that from Kavusi you can take a path up to a very old olive tree. I think he said it's the largest olive tree in the world. Okay, we're at the start of the hike up. I thought I would just take a second to reapply sunscreen because it is a scorcher today. People keep saying that it's like unusually hot for the month of November. I'm kind of worried because I only have this much water. And normally there's a restaurant and store at the top, but because it's not tour season, I am very doubtful that it's open. Let's go. We made it to the top, to the tree. And not only is the tree gorgeous, but the view is breathtaking. I'll show you the tree first. I was reading the panels of information here and apparently this tree is 3,250 years old and its diameter is about 4.9 meters. Before we head back down as well, I will show you guys the view. Right down there is essentially where we came from. You can see the church rooftop. And then my goodness, look at that blue. The way that the sea blends right in with the sky makes it feel like it just goes on forever. Well worth a hike of like 25 minutes for this view. Okay, I am back at the studio. It's not that late to be honest, it's only 4.30. But I took a quick shower, I washed my hair because when you're harvesting the olives, all of the dust and like the minerals that they put on the trees sprays off on you with the olives. So my scalp was quite itchy yesterday because I didn't wash my hair. But I thought I would show you guys what I'm eating because Zilke, who is George's wife, brought me some dinner. It's kind of hard here because I don't have like a fully equipped kitchen with a stove and an oven and pots and pans and stuff. She brings me dinner, which is so sweet. This is what we're eating today. It looks like a mix of beans, carrots, and a bacon type of meat. And she also included a little dinner roll, which is so nice. But yeah, I'm just gonna sit out here, eat my dinner, and then um, I have a couple administrative things to do. And then at around 7 p.m. I will head over to the village square. We'll go for a drink. And it's really nice because 
anytime you order a drink, you are served all of these little metsu plates that are included in the price of the drink. And it's almost like having a whole other meal later in the evening. So yeah, it should be fun to bring you guys along for that. Uh, this smells delicious and I'm starving. So bon appetit. I'm just on my way home from drinks at the local Taverna and I thought that I could try and show you guys the stars because they are so bright here. I think you guys can only see one since I don't have a super mega camera lens and it is quite dark. I'm standing under a lamppost, but otherwise it is pitch black on my way home. We just got back not too late, which is really nice because I have to get up quite early tomorrow morning to go to the market with Zilke. But tonight was amazing. This whole week has been incredible. I really have loved every single moment of meeting all of these farmers and all of George's friends and participating in the farming and the harvest. And I feel like I'm learning so much and honestly, it feels like the work that's being done here and the work that I, for a small moment, <laughs> will contribute to actually has a purpose and it's very fulfilling. But all of that later on in another video, this was really just supposed to be an introduction to my first impressions here in Ketohoryo and to farming and olive harvesting. And it really has just been the best. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it, but um, I almost feel like I never want to leave, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this first video. In the videos to come, you guys will see a lot more of George and Zilke and the other farmers, which I'm so excited to show you because everyone has such a personality. Some people are so funny and others are so interesting and others are just devoted to the craft of olive oil making and I can't wait to share that with you guys. So let me know what you think down below. I hope you guys like this little pause from Paris. But yeah, I hope you guys have a good week and I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh, also, I'll just quickly mention and I will leave the name on the screen as well as link below but i have started an instagram for george's farm if you guys do want to follow that if you're interested in the organic olive oil products like the aromatized oils and just the general olive farming process then you can follow along i'm kind of doing three jobs at once i'm doing youtube olive farming and social media management <laughs> so yeah that's all. Have a good night and I'll see you guys soon.